suicide. Wow, suicide. It's hard to meet anybody who hasn't had to confront it, either in themselves or in a family member or friend in the U.S. society. And it's, I think, epidemic all over the world. I'm not sure I've heard of a country that has a very low suicide rate. I mean, in the most dry sense, we could say it's an option. On any given day, you can choose to die. That, that's your right. I think it is a right that a person has the right to kill themselves. I also publicly say, since it is a huge problem, and I've spoken with thousands of people who've had someone in their life kill themselves, say that there's no more horrible thing you can do to someone you care about than kill yourself, because it will hurt them the rest of your life, their life, and your life is gone. You think your life is so miserable and somehow you'll get relief if you kill yourself, and I promise you, you kill yourself and everyone who loves you is damaged. So it's the most horrible thing you can ever do to anyone who loves you. I was there. I was 16 when I found out this country was racist and that people really hated black people, white people hated them and wanted them not even to be citizens just to be servants. And I wasn't an activist and I, my teenage mind said, I don't want to live in this world. And there were other things going on. I was different, different, a strange kid. But at the heart of it was I, I saw the hatred and I knew I didn't want to hate the hatred. So, I thought suicide was an option. I wasn't good at it. Put me in three mental hospitals in one year. Then I was at Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. I realized you don't kill yourself, you make revolution. Because of self-esteem, I changed on a dime. And I have never, ever thought about it again. In fact, I want to be healthy and vital to change the world to be a world without hate, to where they have to look it up in the dictionary because no one would believe anyone actually hated. Suicide now is so common, it's almost like, well, I don't know whether or not to go to Disneyland or to kill myself. I, there was a huge shock at Camp Winter Rainbow this year when one of its most loved counselors completely surprised everybody, myself included, that he killed himself. It still hurts so many people that he did. He was a psychotherapist. What was missing that he could do that? When it is so prevalent in the society it, I think, has become just one of the things you can do. And you've heard me say maybe that I think only 3% of our population has self-esteem. And so if you're not loving yourself, ending yourself sounds like a good idea. That, and what an easy solution. Got problems, problems, problems. Your girlfriend, your parents are divorcing. You're getting bad grades at school. You don't like any of your studies, I'm going to kill myself. Well, really sounds like a good argument. By yourself and with no one that loves you around. Oh. It's easy to do it, and yet I will tell you, there's a branch of suicide that isn't suicide called euthanasia. I support euthanasia. It should maybe be a whole other thing we do. The idea that if I can't recognize Susan or my children, I'm going to take the happy drink. I don't think Robin Williams committed suicide. I think he had 
profound neurological illness. And he thought that would really hurt who he saw him as, and he didn't want to go there. And so he uh, ended his life. For me, that's very different. One could even say, if it weren't against the law, to make it a celebration. But you can choose your ending. But suicide isn't about choosing your ending. It's about ending before choosing your ending. That pressure too much, things too much, and how easy it is to take a bunch of pills, shoot yourself, run a car off a cliff. Too damn easy. And, okay, to my knowledge, no elementary school and no public school in the world, K through 12, teaches one hour, 13 years of the most important thing of life, loving. And so most of my gender knows practically nothing about loving. They don't know about joy. It's funny, I read in a, in a newspaper today, it had a lot of quotes of what people's thoughts about happiness were, and there weren't any positive ones. And even an implication that it would be fake, where I'm going around the world saying anyone can choose to be happy all the time as a political act for peace and justice and care for everybody in nature if you want it. <sighs> I say to audiences, if you have food and a friend, what are you bitching about? I also say, if you don't like life, why don't you die? Recycle. There's tongue in cheek about that. Because I don't really want you killing yourself because you will leave horror behind you that is unfair and cruel. But how is it that we're not happy and whose interest is it? that you're not happy. And I would say it's one of the strongest positive points of capitalism. That you will be happy only if this. Okay? And if it's not that, then you want to change your life to be happy for that. So if your wife has gotten old and wrinkly and you might want to trade her in for a 25-year-old, You used to be number one, and now you're number two. I know I'm going all over the place here, but I, I, uh, I mostly, I mostly want to ask the question, why isn't where you are enough? Why, you know, one friend, you have to have a friend, okay? And if you don't want a human friend, then at least have a pet. And if you want, add trees or insects or the whole world. If you're a religious person and believe in God, how is it that your interface with God doesn't make you a person that loves everybody? That's very confusing to me. God is love, so love everybody. And you have to accept that you can love somebody and they're a wonderful person, but if they don't think they're a wonderful person, they may feel unloved, so much unloved, that you can't change that and that you are unhappy that you can't change that and even hurt yourself that you can. So I want to say this, you're responsible for your joy. And so if you reduce your joy to food and a friend, then, wow, there's a good chance you'll love life. It is a gift. 